everyone! This is Abby from The Building for Kids. And today I'm going to show you an experiment that you can do with plastic bags, water, and pencils. So what you will need for this experiment is maybe start with a sandwich size bag, have some water handy, and then see how many pencils you can find and make sure that they have a nice sharp point to them. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fill my bag at least halfway full with water. Okay, that will work too. It's a little less than half. Then we're going to make sure that we seal it nice and tight at the top. Okay, now let's take our pencils. It's important that they're sharp. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to poke it through one side of the bag, through the water, and out the other side. What do you think might happen? Do you think that the bag is just gonna start dripping everywhere? Do you think we're gonna have a leak? Is it not gonna leak? Okay, try to make a prediction before you get started. Now, here we go. All right, what is happening? There's no leak, all right? My pencil went all the way through the water and there's not a leak in the bag. Let's see how many more pencils I can put through here. All right. Well, I, oh, there we go. We just got a leak going. So I had one, two, three, four, five, six. Six pencils through my bag before it started to leak. Now let's talk about what's happening here. The plastic bag is something that's called a polymer, which polymers are a substance that have um, long chains of molecules that are the same, kind of like a long beaded necklace or kind of like a long strand, like a piece of spaghetti. And when you poke the pencil through the plastic bag, which is a polymer, through the water and out the other side, those polymers create a temporary seal around where the pencil went in. So, when we have too many pencils in the bag and those seals get broken, it starts to leak. So this is something that you can try at home. You can count and see how many pencils you can get in your bag. I've done this before and I've gotten a lot more than six. Otherwise, you could test out different types of bags. So maybe you can find some different plastic bags of different sizes or thickness. Um, maybe like a grocery bag that is a lot thinner than a sandwich bag. Or you could also experiment using a rounded pencil versus more like a flat sided pencil, or maybe you have a really thick pencil at home that you can try. So have some fun trying out this pencil, pencil bag or this bag experiment. And I can't wait to see what you guys find out. All right, I will see you next time. Bye.